1980. 1980. We're uh, so tall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been a little while. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Frank Drake is uh, my godfather uh, for me, first and foremost, but he's also one of the founders of SETI with my dad. The astronomer Carl Sagan, together, uh, they vastly increased not only the interest, but our understanding, led us on this path to, to understanding what could be out there and how would we go find out about it. So, yeah, we've been talking, but I, I realized that the, I don't even know how you and dad met. The story of my early days with your father had never been told. We were essentially uh, contemporaries as very young graduate astronomers. Well, it turned out your, your dad was working on the problem of the atmosphere of Venus and how, how come it was so hot. Well, somehow he heard that I was measuring the temperature of Venus. And so we started a correspondence. And in the course of this, he discovered we were also working on detecting intelligent life. He was one of the few people in the world who took that seriously and really was thinking about it. I'm glad you guys found each other because you made such yeah, a great team. We were a great team. It was wonderful to get to know Carl because uh, at that time speculating about extraterrestrial life was considered very far out. And always with Carl, anytime you were with Carl, he always had good insights. Yeah, um, he had a, a real knack for that. He had sometimes it gets lost in yeah. all the other things he was. Yeah. but. Uh, Right now, you're nodding your head just the way he used to. <laughs> There's your dad's smile. He just had his dad's smile. <laughs> Do you think it's a, a matter of time until we find something? It's a matter of time. It's also a matter of how much effort we make. I can't think of many things that nourish people more than the idea of us not being alone. That's the biggest question you could ask. And if there's actually something else out there, we should know. We should know, and knowing would do us so much good. When we do SETI, we're doing the archaeology of the future. Hmm. We're going to find out not our past, but what our future might be.